Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Dane Diddy. Ambitious Ace. The Book of Resistance, Chapter 2, Black Lightning, Henderson's Opus. Mm -hmm. So, Henderson. Henderson. The episode is named after him, but he definitely wasn't the most interesting person <laughs> in this episode, would you say? Why was the episode named after him? I guess just his argument with Black Lightning they needed to get to. I mean, I get it. I mean, I guess he was the the center of the focus because Black Lightning messed everything up. So I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess. Loosely, it was about him. Well, I, I want to just skip to what I thought was the most important, um, interesting thing that happened on this show. So okay. Lynn gets Gamby into the facility. He finds out that Khalil is alive. Were you mad at that at first? That had to be Lynn. Lynn will do what? To find out that Khalil was alive. No, no, Gamby found out. Well, Gamby found out, but he and went he to Lynn. And he had Lynn tell, um, bring her because he needed somebody to get him that there. That was trash. I don't want. I wish he could have went and find that out by himself. Yeah, he is smart enough that he could have. If y'all couldn't guess, own. I'm not the biggest fan of Lynn this season. Yeah, when she woke Khalil up, I got so annoyed. <laughs> First off, I just want to say his acting right there was on point. Yes. He really act like a machine. Yeah, like I <laughs> yeah, Doctor Stewart. I know all of your uh, what he said. I don't even know what he said, but he was convincing as hell. Yeah, so so that look he gave Gamby though, like yeah, like you, yeah, though. I don't know you, <laughs> but I am gonna snitch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so that whole thing, like Lynn just being super emotional, not tell. Like my whole thing about it is not a problem with this show; it's a problem with every show. Okay. You know she's gonna find out. Yes. Yeah. You know, just the fact that we just try to, it's kind of like just to like to tie up the plot for just for now, yes. temporarily while we go worry about something else. Right, right, right. So while Jennifer's growing fond of this new guy mm -hmm. who supposedly ends up turning, he's like a Markovian superhero at some point in the comic books. Okay. Uh, Khalil's out there, even though she keeps looking at his pictures. I feel like the show is setting us up, though, for them to clash in a really eventful way. Just because of how you know who's gonna who's gonna win? Do you, do, do you think that those memories that Lynn is putting in his head is gonna affect him? She didn't put it in his head. She said she, they're still well, she's there. Th yeah, she's actually she accessed them. I mean, it, it's possible, but the way Khalil is now, I mean, just watching him give off his assignments was just like, damn, this is really a different person, you know. So I, I don't know as for who would win versus you know. I, I would argue, say, Jen, because, I mean, she does have the powers and everything like that. But I would say Khalil because that would be her weakness. Once she sees his face, I don't think she's going to know how to react and going to know how to operate. So, but I do think the show setting us up to, like, for them to clash in some type of way. But I just don't know how. Does Jefferson tell Game? I mean, not Jefferson. Does Gamey tell uh, Pierce? No. I think he'll tell Nissa before anything. This is this is getting messy. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is getting really messy. So I was really excited when I saw Tobias, uh, not Tobias, but because uh, no Tobias this episode. Yeah, no, no Tobias. quotables, no quotables, no quotables. Uh, but yeah, I was so happy when I seen Painkiller get the assignment to go fight by Black Lightning. Yeah, yeah. Because I was just like, all right, it's going down in the next episode, and you better not try to uh, make it happen the episode after. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But uh, aside from that, man. Uh, we got to see Anissa. She's still in a, a point where she can't actually use her powers. Yeah. So she had to ask her dad to escort. Which was a really medicine. touching moment. I felt like that that spoke volumes because. Normally I'm a grown ass woman and I got it. But right now I just don't. Yeah. I was just like, man, yeah. that was deep. Yeah, because this is like, you know, she's been doing you everything saw the, on she, her own. She saw the lip cover. <laughs> yeah, everything. It was, the acting was, it on was 10. great. It was phenomenal acting and I felt it. And it's just like, you know. As much as you want to, you know, to be your own woman and everything, you know, everybody loves the dad. You know, she's probably a dad, she's daddy's girl and everything like that. He got all daughters. <laughs> so I thought that was a real touching moment for her and him because it's just like, you know, they've been kind of distant this season. So for them to come on one accord, it was real touching. It was cool. Yeah. How did you feel about the whole Grace angle? I actually liked it because one, she was starting to get annoying with the whole can't change into thing a kid, and everything and everything. Turn but, back into the old man. But once again, it kind of made it sentimental, especially when you know she warmed up the Pierce or whatever. It was just like, oh. But I have one bone to pick with that scene. But I'll get to that in a moment. But I like how you know, it feels like she is maturing. 
when I say maturing, that she is adapting to who she is as a person and her powers and everything like that. So hopefully after this segment here, she'll come back less emotional, less whiny and everything like that. But I do have to call out something that she said. Um, she says she, she retains the senses and the sense of smell as a leopard so she could tell it was Pierce. So does she know that Anissa was thunder all this time? Even last season? Did she run in? I don't think she ran into thunder. Did, yeah, they fought. Remember? In the apartment? Did she know that this was Anissa the whole time? Did that ever get covered or am I missing out on something? Because I'm like, I if you, could, I don't know if they ever address what you're asking. I don't, I don't know. I mean, am I just nitpicking? Nah, I mean, you're, 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 you should be on the plot hole department. Yeah, because I was just like, okay, so you, you knew this the whole time, but I let it pass because it was an emotional moment. I don't know what her name was, but the general that took over while Odell's in the hospital was annoying um, as hell. What did Jennifer call her? Oh man, it was funny. I can't, I can't remember. That was the funniest <laughs> part. Yeah, it was funny. But, but she killed me with the whole stranger danger. Yeah, I, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that 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 was actually pretty funny. Do you really think Odell's fine? Yeah, you think so? I'm 100. I, I said in the last one, I don't think he's dead. I, I thought that was just a. Cop Were you out. upset that that they used the easy? Uh, he's He's healing up right now. I mean, I just thought that was just, you know, something to say. We're going to tell you this now, but he's really dead. But we want you to do what we say. So, you know, I thought they were taking that angle. That could be that could be right. But most of the time, people, like, for somebody to die on this show, mm -hmm. like I said, we've only seen one person die. And, and she went out in the slow-mo scene. Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, one of the actually cool parts of this episode was uh, when Reverend Holt and them looked like they were <laughs> held up in the church and they were up in the closet. And then, uh, what's his name, 2-Bit came and opened the door like, oh, I thought y'all was hungry, oh, man. Oh, Clifton Powell, man. He owned that scene with him reciting the verses and everything. And he, with the golden gun, though. Yeah. <laughs> PP7. But then when he came out the closet and he was just like, oh, yeah, I got that drink. Oh, you got what I like. Oh, yeah. You know, I need that. <laughs> I was just like, come on. <laughs> but he stole that scene. That was good. How did you feel about the scene with uh, Brandon and, and Jennifer? Because there was a part in there that I felt when she's just like, I'm about to go smoke. I was just like. I don't really know most people that like that say it like that. <laughs> That's not the appropriate way of saying it. Like, yo, I'm about to go get Blaze. Um, I mean, I think she was just trying to entice him. Most people at least say, yo, you're trying to roll up. Yeah, I mean, hey, I, it, it was just kind of funny. But I, I think she was just trying to get him out the room. And finally, she was just like, I tell you something about Dr. Jace. And then he got his ass up. So I think she was just trying to get him out. Yeah, that whole scene with them putting their powers together and like, the fact that Jen was leading them on like that, mm -hmm. I was just like, "Come on, Jen!" Like, this. It, it felt like it was like one of those situations where we have to do this this long just to fill up time for the episode. Yeah, you're right. Because the whole power thing that was interesting. I'm mad we didn't get an explanation. Yeah. Uh, but aside from that, like just the time they were sitting there, it just seemed like it was like it was just a waste of time. Yeah, it was. Uh, that's pretty much the episode, right? I mean, with Bill and them trying to blow up some stuff. And Black it Lightning got in the way. He found out he, about he, the resistance. He was just casually just saving the world. He was in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I mean, he didn't know anything, anything of it uh, aside from the that. right place at the right time. Just happened to be hovering over them. I don't think I'm, he was right over them, Bruh, He was there. He just popped out in the sky. Oh, I see a bomb under a truck. Come on, man! Like I love this show, but some of these it, stuff just happens, right? Yeah, it just happens. Stuff just some, happens. Some, you just gotta let it go. Uh, I I was actually looking it up. You know, Black Lightning actually shoots Black Lightning. That's why they call him Black Lightning. Oh, but, but he he doesn't use it because apparently in the comic book he like leveled a whole city when he actually did it. Oh, maybe that's like some future plot development we're gonna get. Yeah, they said at some point he gets to the point where he could actually you like run it just as fast just on the speed of light. Hmm. And uh, there's a couple other powers that cool. apparently he never learned how to fly though. That was just a Jennifer thing. Oh, okay. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's some interesting things with his power set that they haven't explored yet. Well, where do you think it's going to happen from here? Uh, Khalil's going to poison uh, Jefferson, and then Jefferson's going to get mad at Gammy for not telling him. <laughs> oh, and uh, then Jefferson's going to say, we have to keep this from Jennifer. And, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're going to get the rundown. But 
Uh, I want Tobias and Lala on every episode. Because to me, they're like the we light blood of the show. We have missed out on Lala the last, what, two episodes? Two, three episodes, actually. Yeah, I, I need him just getting up and shooting people. <laughs> like somebody do something to him, he get knocked down and... He did it, yeah. and then gets up, and then yeah. he just start knocking people down. Yeah, and then I need to buy us to go off on him again. Well, um, before the crisis events happen when with all that? the show, it's That's December eighth. Okay, so two uh, weeks I think away. we have two episodes. So I'm interested. Is that the mid season finale for all the shows? That's what I'm getting to because I don't know if we're gonna get a rushed plot. And for the for the crisis event, or is this going to be on hold? Is Black Lightning going to disappear for like a few episodes of his own show, or what? So I don't know what it's going to be. So I'll say that to say that I hope things don't really wrap up quickly. Like I want more Lala, I want more Tobias, um, but we're definitely going to get the showdown between Khalil and Jefferson, which is going to be really interesting because I feel like emotions is going to play in that to that a lot. I don't think. He's going to be at the top of his game because it's like, oh, Khalil, you're, you're, you know, all that stuff. So I just hope that they tie it up nicely before the crisis event. I hope it plays into the story really well. I'm still not a big fan of including Black Lightning in this event because I don't want it to mess up the story over here because I feel like there's a lot of going on in this story already. We don't need no more, you know, plot holes and all this other shit. So... Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the crisis event. I'll just let you tell me about it. I watched Black Lightning's <laughs> episode, but uh, you can tell me about it because I'm not interested. I don't in even it. know if Black Lightning's getting an episode. When you think about it, it's Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, and Batwoman. So I think Black, Black Lightning is just in there. So that's why I'm saying how are they going to fit this into the show's narrative. So that's what I'm confused about because he doesn't even get his own night, I don't think, unless... Ask, ask me if I'm wrong. Batwoman comes on the same night, right? I'm not sure. I thought Batman Monday. came on with Sup- Supergirl, right? Or is it the night after Supergirl? I, I, I forgot to say. I only watch Arrow, y'all. I only watch Arrow and Black Lightning. <laughs> so, yeah, other than that, let us know what y'all think is going to happen. Yeah, man, with that being said, let, you, let us know how y'all feel about the show, how, what y'all think is going to happen next, because uh, I have no clue at this point. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure Odell will come back. The disappearing guy will probably come back for the Markovians or something. Uh, but And then we're going to have to get more information on Brandon and watch his transition into being a superhero, I'm assuming. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. All right, y'all. Let us know y'all think. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace.